doom and destruction await me in the King of Dragons Pass. Shana Arai would reward us if we refrained from raiding this year. Well, we're a peace clan, so we will do that. Quests, mysteries, trade, point in war just for defense, health, crops, and herds. Eh, let's get rid of the uh, point in trade. We don't need it right now. Man, I haven't boosted my reputation at all. Able to attract 50 new Carls. Well, at least we broke even with the Carls and children. Better than nothing. Who is, is qualified to act as a healer on the ring? A worshiper of Chenna Arai lets us perform healing rituals. Hmm. True. Do we have a worshiper of Chenna Arai? Barntar. We have a worshiper of Barntar. With renowned animal skills. Isaris. That guy reminds me of the dude in Lost Vikings, the, the fast guy. Two more barn tars. Nope, another one for Sean Onroy. I think a feast is in order. I think you're uh, shutting the heck up is in order. Warriors are satisfied, or the, but the farmers aren't. Well, you know what is in order for me is to build a watchtower that was undead and destroyed. Crops and herd are the lifeblood of the clan. Our blood will only get weaker if we don't recruit more Carls to farm and blah blah blah. I don't have enough goods. Uh. Heal our wounded? I think they're still bad. Spear Talker shakes his rattle as the air says, Hmm, the healing spirits seem to be pleased this day. 66 cows worth of silver. I'm uh, sorry. We will. We need no spear talking, but we shall feed you. No one told us we would be rewarded for our generosity, and he gave us some magic, which is good. <sighs> Freaking undead, I can't believe they did that. Uh. Yeah, we, we really are not in good shape. Barntar. I need vigor, please. Thank you. From Ragondor, a trader from the Orlundi, approaches the ring. We know that you found a source of gins. We would like to relieve you of the onerous task of mining and cutting and polishing them to make them fit for market. He twirls his beard, makes an offer of trading these rough gems through a... Uh, us only. We will give you ten cows worth of goods every year. <gasps> no. I got the cunning arguments, but Gondor made it clear that he believed that we could handle our gems and jewelry making ourselves with no arrangement, and no arrangement would make up for our loss of our mine. Walked out muttering under his breath. That's right. And we've already done the gems. Okay. Fire season doesn't do me a darn bit of good, but I am going to build a shrine to that barn tower so we have vigor so our farmers can work better. Raided by the Linsangs because everyone on Earth hates me. And we don't have enough weapon things because I chose large land so we can only raise a few dudes. Drive them off with skirmishing. More wounded weapon thanes. Their magic was stronger than ours, but we drove them off anyway because we have lots of arrows. More weapon thanes. And, uh. Please stop raiding. actually have proper patrols. It's Earth season, we have Vigor. Who the heck has been raiding us the most? Okay. Amal? We have a trickster. Uh, let's see if I can get him to bless us. Uh, let's be a little cautious here and give him 15 goods. He healed the three of our wounded. He does random crap. 
members of the cult of MMO, all loyal thane and horse friend, approach you with an offer. As part of their homage to their god, they wish to perform a ritual to prove the bloodlines of all the horses of Dragon Pass. They're willing to perform this ritual for you. A drunken trickster seems to figure into the ritual, which they insist must be performed in secret and instead full of your best horses. This is wonderful. Say the word, I'll be happy to help. Most of our wildcats, our response to them will affect our situations with that clan. Uh... I'm glad it's not me in that horse costume. Uh, sure. They seem displeased because we didn't offer them a gift, but we only have one good, and I don't want to owe them a frickin' favor. They raided us. I know we're raiding you constantly, but you owe us a favor. How about some food? Please give me food. No. Go away. Let's explore... Uh, the mountains again. Just no, just take no weapon things. Just take some footmen. This were too many weapon things. Uh, you are mistaken. Chieftain spoke eloquently. We need these weapon things because we have a lot of land, dude. Look how much land we have. Weapon things are starting to... Yeah, they've all recovered. We have 20 now. There we go. I'm happy with that. I kinda wanna build a shrine to Amarangor, though. Because Earthblood improves fertility of our fields when people are killed on them. And goodness knows, pe lots of people are being killed on our frickin' fields. Exploring the south, members of your clan encounter a drooling wild-eyed hermit. He, dressed in a suit of bark, he froths at the mouth, dances a little jig, then speaks words of prophecy. A terrible winter storm will descend upon you, caused by ice demons. After this happens, you must build a temple to Lankormai, or strange slimy monsters will overrun your tula and beast you, beset you at every turn. But, uh, you must gift this prodigious shaman. Winter Storm, Ice Demons, Langkorm. I gotta write this down. After Ice Demons, Langkorm. I. This is important. This guy right here, this dude here, is he's telling the truth. Believe that guy. You can only find him when he explore. When you explore. Unfortunately, most of the time he's telling you negative things. <laughs> uh, offer to adopt him. Go for it. Take some footmen. No weapon things. They looked high and low for the shaman, but did not find him. Our patrol spotted them! We spotted them! Ah, victory! <laughs> Skirmish. Kill them. Trolls had the charge through a withering hail miss missile, missile fire. Hendrick dodges a troll berserker's charge. Collect his courage for the fight. How should he proceed? Uh, use magic to defeat the trolls. Through comfort and strength from our clan's steadfast blessing, he struck his shield three times and glowed like the sun. The entire battlefield was lit as if it were day. The trollkins sh sought shelter, dark trolls covered their eyes, they had little fight left in them. No casualties. Lots of casualties. How's that for a lucky roll? Take that, RNG. Oh great, frickin' brew. Carl have been infested by the evil chaotic beings called Brew. Everyone knows that the cattle must be destroyed before they give birth to more Brew. Because these guys are apparently very amorous. Launch a concerted campaign against the Brews. 
And we lost a ton of weapon things because of that. They're all busy. They're not dead, I don't think. They're just busy. They'll come back. In the meantime, I'm going to recruit up to seven and uh, put them all on the outer patrol. And we're going to build the shrine to Marangor. Devotees of the cult of Yinkin, the god of Alings, has appeared before you, soliciting your help. We have discovered something terrible. The Tenonralings are bleeding dogs. As you know, Dragon Press is free of these dirty, disgusting creatures who are the natural enemies of Alings's. We decided to show our devotion to Yinkin by raiding the crazy Tenonlings and destroying their foul dogs. We want your help. The Tendonlings are not our friends, so there is nothing wrong with helping the Yinkin kill their dogs. Uh, yeah, the dragons pass people like cats because cats kill vermin like rats and stuff, and they don't like dogs because dogs kill cats. I don't know why this is because, you know, I have a house and I have two cats and two dogs and they get along fine, but apparently here, da cats and dogs do not like each other. Uh... Uh, mercenary... <laughs> yeah, well, two goods, here you go. Convince them to destroy their dogs. Uh, what do you gifts do you offer them first? Uh, twenty cows. They said that we were crazy and that dogs are better than Alex's, and that they were looking forward to gutting the stupid Yinkin people when they came. Aww. Well, then I lost ten cows or twenty cows. Or they came back. Uh, we tried to give them something, but I, it didn't work, so I'm not sure how that panned out. They keep the gift, but say, no, forget you! I can't build a shrine to Hamat. Humatka. Humatka. My mouth is dry. <clears throat> there we go. Langkor Mai, Langkor Mai. You, I need to build a shrine to you. Who is it that I need a shrine to to make more shrines? You don't know Borlanth Bressling. Uruks can be stronger. Sacrifice to Uruks. I can't sacrifice to Uruks. Let's just hope they killed all the brews. This will probably give us Casper's in it. Not afford to make Tiger's Eyes a shrine. Great. Our goods. I couldn't afford the goods to maintain the shrine, so the Orlanthi shrine has gone away for now. So we don't have rain right at the moment. Oops. Well, I think I will stop here. Uh, actually, I could do one more year. I'll be back in a sec.